Two years ago, I did a video with Sonny for his YouTube channel, Best Ever Food Review Show. This video right here, which has almost 2 million views now. If you haven't seen it, here's a couple clips from that. So, how deep are we going? Is it deep? We might go deep. All right. They're too smart. They might mess with your hook for fun. Wait, what? Is that a fish? I... Oh, it's a strong one! But today, it's all about the seafood. We usually get about 100 foot visibility out here. I've seen 12 foot tiger sharks right here in hammerheads. Do those kind bite? They don't just bite, they finish the meal. Master seaman Heiko is leading the way. How many rod holders do you have? 32 rod holders, and it's not enough. Doing whatever it takes. Wait, what? We're on. To catch a big. Holy shit. Juicy. Oh, oh it's a strong one. Thumbnail. So will I go from a fisher boy to a fisherman, or will I float home empty-handed? Time to find out what Mother Nature has in store for us. Definitely worth a watch. If you don't follow Best Ever Food Review Show, check them out. I'll link them in the video description below. In that video, not only do we check out a couple of really cool hot spots here in Key Largo, try some different foods, but we also go and catch and cook up some of our own. And you know what? As I'm looking back on this footage, it makes me realize how much has changed in the last two years. My boat didn't have a wrap. I still had my old Mercury engine. I didn't have a dive platform. And I still had all the old electronics on that boat and no second station tower. Everything was different, but one thing was still the same. We caught fish and we ate them as fresh as you possibly could. And we had a blast that made memories that will last a freaking lifetime. So last week, Sonny was on vacation down in Miami and he hit me up and said, we should hang out and do some fishing again. So I told him, come on down. Unfortunately, I was getting fiberglass work done on my boat, but Joe from Extreme Outdoors, y'all already know him, he said we can take his boat out and that's where this fishing trip begins. We're heading offshore from Key Largo and we plan on doing some offshore fishing and also some patchery fishing on the inside. Are we recording right now? Yeah. Right now we're in my, well, no, we're not in Miami. Right now we're in Florida. There we the, go. The freest state in the nation. That is very true. We also got Joe from Extreme Outdoors. What up, what up? We got Sunny, and today we're gonna do a little bit of kind of mixed bag fishing. We Get got everything up. Yeah, we don't really have a game plan today. We're just gonna look for snapper, grouper, wahoo, kingfish. What about Alaskan king crab? I don't know a lot about fishing. <laughs> we'll look for one of those. What, if we actually catch something, are you planning on eating it or is this just like a catch without the cook video? We always cook our fish. Yeah. You're feeling lucky today? I'm feeling really lucky. We well, got about 20 fishing rods, so I think we should be able to accomplish something. More fishing mm -hmm. rods than hens. Look at all the fishing rods. There's a few up there. We're doing 66. It's a racehorse on steroids. Well, it only took a couple minutes. We're out here on the reef's edge in like a hundred, uh, how deep are we? hundred feet of water. We're gonna put out these freaking monstrous rods. We're gonna troll these little plugs. Why, are you bleeding? Why? Why is there blood on the handle? You are bleeding. I am bleeding. We're bleeding already. That didn't take long. Woo! All right, we got rods out, baits out. Come on, fishy, come on. Let's hear a bite. Trolled around for a bit, no bites, but we're not giving up. Now what we're gonna do, we're out here on the wrecks in 300 feet of water and we're gonna drop some vertical jigs on down, see what uh, bites those. Freaking something better bite them. How are you guys on the bottom already? Mine's still going down. I'm almost out of line. <laughs> Everybody's jigging. Get it. Somebody's got to get a bite here. Come on. I'm never fishing again if we don't get your fish. Deleting my channel. Can't tell you how many times my jig was back at the top and I gave it another tug and it came flying in my face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Back down it goes. Oh man, we're marking middle column too. Middle column? Yep, yep, yep. Sometimes they'll get hit on the way down too. Oh! There yes! we go. Oh no, don't get moved. Oh no! Wait, what happened? Oh, it broke off. No. Oh, you got broke off completely. 
How'd that happen? No, I could have been a tooth grinder. It tastes like amberjack. I don't know what that could have been. I had wire on too. Fish on, fish on. Oh yeah. 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 He's on the wreck though. He's right on the wreck. I can feel it. Oh, oh, that's not good. Uh, is he taking line? All right, we did some vertical jigging. All of our arms are tired. How's your arm feel? It's not going great. And usually, you know, my right arm is my strong arm and uh, it's tired out, real tuckered out right now. <laughs> I'm feeling the same. We're gonna try to do some yellowtailing now. Well, we're gonna target some smaller fish that like to bite more. What do you think about? Do people like this when they watch a video and it's just a complete failure, nothing's happening, you're not catching fish. Is that kind of like enjoyable for them? That, that's what people enjoy the most. Oh, okay. On yeah. this channel, There's plenty of that today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what happens when you come fishing with us. <laughs> that's a big 25-pound chum block right there. All right, so we got the magic sauce. 25 pounds of commercial grade. Isn't this cheating? Hold on, isn't this cheating? Like, I can't put a salt block out for a deer and shoot it. Depends what state you're in. The same way we gotta eat, they gotta eat. For us to eat, they have to eat first. All right, oh, so it's like uh, we're giving and some of them will actually take away. It's like charity. It is, it's a charity event mm -hmm. and we're giving. And there's this a couple of donors down there. Part one. Part one. Oh, there's more. Oh yeah, they don't want more. So oh, this really? is Purina fish food mixed with Manhattan oil and pureed ballyhoos. How do you puree the ballyhoo? In a blender. Oh. In a Vitamix. <laughs> so we put this on one side, that on the other, let it do its work. All right, we, did, we tried some trolling, we did some vertical jigging. Now we're gonna do what we do best and we're gonna do a little bit of, uh, put some chum out, we anchored up, we're on the patrice and we're gonna try to do some yellow tailing. You think we're gonna get any? I hope so. <laughs> so far, it's looking bleak. Bleak and dry. And sad and morning. Rain, storms, taxes. Yeah, we can catch one of these birds. You ever eat a seagull? I have not, but. You're considering it, right? I've had a lot of fishing videos turn out pretty desperate, so. Not today. Looking like one of them? <laughs> we're gonna turn this ship around. Yeah, let's turn it around. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Glass mendo down for the yellowtail. Oh, that's awesome. You're cool like that? Yeah. And that's also a boat. Ooh, my minnow went right into the school. Oh, he's out! Oh, 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 yeah! Oh, 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 oh yeah! Oh, the oh, look at the shark! Look at the shark! Oh, man! Double header, boys and girls! Shark! Oh, oh, shark. shark. Oh, oh, that's a big yellow oh, tail! Yeah. That's a big one! That's a fatty. No. There's so many yellow tail go, go, right go, there. Go, go. <laughs> you got a you got a yellow tail over here. Is yeah, that what you got? got a yellow tail. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh slapperoni for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. A little juice. Beautiful. Look at them all. Oh, whoa! Look at that. I think we need to get rods in the water. Chum till they come is what they say, and they have arrived. <laughs> Nobody says that. Fish on. Pretty sure it's a yellow tail now. Yep, it's a yep. yellow tail. Look at him. Oh, he's beautiful. He's good. Hey, buddy. Ooh. Yeah, oh, flipper on the roof. That was a great catch. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. Come to daddy. Hello, fish. He's got a yellow tail, all right. Yeah, Another I chunk nice monster. One, Looks like it's a yellow tail kind of day. Oh yeah, I see him down there. Oh, there's a big shark too, I just saw. Oh yeah, baby. Beautiful, that's the best when they do that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's going crazy. Where's the shark? Ha! Damn it, a light rig. Oh no. I think I got some too. Uh oh, I'm coming across here. I got I definitely have a fish. There Both of y'all got fish? A oh. yellow tail. Oh you got a yellow tail. Bring him in, bring him in. <laughs> Let's load <mow> in! <laughs> oh that's a good yellow tail, yeah! Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Good yes! Yeah. Yeah. Suck it! That is a good yellow tail. I've never seen a yellow tail. <laughs> Yeah, it's too late for you now. Oh man, what were you thinking? Oh, oh free fish for me, psych. <laughs> Except for the hook. You pull that hook out of his mouth. 
Oh, I don't. I usually just come for the fun part. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let me figure this out. Oh, oh, oh yeah. It's, oh. it's a nice. Yeah. Yeah. There, we there we go. Done. Oh, my God. And another one. What do you get? Damn. He got shark. He got shark. I just saw the shark get away. I ripped this right out of the shark's mouth. Really? Freaking angelfish. Okay, then. Well, we got a yellow tail. <laughs> yeah. So it was hooked and then the shark got it? It was hooked. Tried he to was take coming a in. And that's why he started ripping because the shark got him. And that's oh. why I couldn't stop him. Yeah! Yeah! I see him down there. I broke his will. Oh, look at all the yellowtail. Ooh, yeah, yeah he's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah! You got the fish right here. There you go, there you go. There you go. Woo! <laughs> Pro status. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. This one's got a belly full of chum. Oh, really? Look how fat he is. That's a big boy. Whoa. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> We got a cooler full of yellowtail. Hold on, the sun's over here. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you got great instincts. We got, we're, I can't even see it's so so bright, but we're at the sandbar and we're gonna do a cannonball. I'm gonna do a cannonball. You want me to film you doing a cannonball? No. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna put baby oil on the side of the boat and I'm gonna slowly slip in. Woo! Yeah, like a penguin. Um, check out the yellowtail. Whoosh. Just mixed amongst uh, the, the dry snacks and the, and the waters. Yeah. Just raw fish. Love it. We're back at the crib and we got some fish to flay. We got a whole bucket of fish, 14 of them, right? Ooh Are you giving all of them to him? All of them, every single one of them. Generous. It's my lucky day. You've struck gold or yellow. So we're gonna flay them real quick and then we'll go back to my place and cook some up and try them. Oh, you got that juicy juicy? Oh, yeah, I touched one. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I caught like three of these and I'm good. I lost count how many I caught. I probably only caught like non -stop. two. Non-stop, non-stop, <laughs> non-stop. Yeah. How do you lose count after one? Come on, Iko. <laughs> I'm a simple man. I'm an Android user. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so filet and then filet. what's the method of preparation for tonight? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. We'll get to the kitchen and then figure it out. Go check it out. Wow, look at these fillets, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. And then if you had to compare this fish to another type of fish, what would you compare it to? Hogfish, some kind of snapper. I mean, it is a snapper family, yellowtail snapper, but it's just a very like flavorless fish. Like it's not fishy at all. It's just like a good piece of meat. Mm. And you can flavor it however you want. Blackening, pepper. That's good, all right, blackening. Blacken the white meat. All right, I think we found balance. We are extremely balanced now. Good content. We nailed the content. Content is at 100, level 100 right now. Can't get any better than I'm this. pretty content with this content. Content, content. Mm -hmm. Hey everybody, I'm right now in Heiko's kitchen. Have you guys ever seen his uh, personal kitchen here before? Right now, we got the fish, and then he's got certain types of like cooking elements. For example, uh, Blackening. Nutmeg. Wait, what's that? Blackening. Red, white, and blue. Good, very patriotic. Fish and game seasoning, blackening. Nice. Yeah, okay, so like the witch projects. There's fish in the kitchen. I found them. I found there the fish. Are. are they haunted fish? Hold on, let me listen. They're saying eat me. Does that mean they're haunted? No, that, that's right. That's actually pretty normal. Okay, good. Hi, right. talk to the camera. Please. All right, we're, we're taking our yellowtail snapper. We are dumping them onto this wood block, and then we are going to just lather them, our blackening. Lather or slather? Schmather. Sometimes with blackening, the more the better. We're not doing any side ingredients either. We're just fish. That's all we're doing. Today. We're not doing like a coleslaw. No, yeah, no. We don't got time for that. We just want protein. We no carbs. You know, we're trying to live twice as long as the average human being. That works for me. We'll let that soak for a couple minutes. All right, we need a wide establishing shot. And I need butter. We have butter. Butter. It's quite the fridge, isn't it? All right, with butter, the general rule of thumb is the more, the better. Do you have a light on here or something? That's right, it is a little dark. I could bring out some lights. Oh yeah, you probably should. 
Okay, I'll, he's gonna bring a light, I'll watch it. Look what Not I guess. Yep, yeah, necessary. Look, it's like the good old days when we used to care about lighting. There you go. There, oh, this is gonna be so nice. Look at that. You can see now, kind of. Wait, mm -hmm. I can lower it maybe. Look, the butter is melting. Mmm. The butter is bubbling. It's time to add the fish. It is a little bit Blair Witchy with the light, but you know what? I think the audience is gonna like it. I think it's okay. I should tell it from down here. You know, we're not professional lighters. We don't have a whole crew for lighting. No. Our budget is a light that we put up ourselves. This one right here. And it's an LED light, so we're eco-friendly. So just push that like button. Super, yeah. <laughs> your mic, your mic smells like an actual cat. Your dead cat smells like an actual dead cat. That's probably because there's fish scales and guts stuck into it. So we got our butter, and now we're gonna add our tilapia. That was a very anti-climatic wow, sizzle. Think, you might have to put sound effects in there, cause like, <laughs> the, I was expecting something. It's going, it's going, it's bubbling now. I was expecting more than nothing, I mean, what the heck? Psst. All right, here, watch this. Wow, <laughs> just a thud. To only, it just hit with a thud. You know, it's because we're cooking with mainly butter and not with oil, so the mm. sizzle isn't as... Right, huh. the burn point is lower. Lower. Sorry, lawyer. Lawyer? Yeah. Hey, most people that come to Florida need a lawyer at some point. Yeah, this is your thing, right? Food? Cooking food? This is like what you're born to do. Professional. I was born to cook food? Or eat food. Yeah, yeah that one. Do you ever cook the food or you just eat the food? What I try to do is put a spotlight on the cooking of food uh, of other people and not myself. So yeah, I eat the food. So you just eat the food. You film and then eat the food. That's absolutely. And that's kind of smart, Dang, right? That is like, that's the best thing that... Why would you make a show where you're like, I have to cook now? Ugh. I need food, and I need it fancy, mm -hmm. and I need it now. That's, that's what, oh wow, sorry. The angle got messed up because my arm got tired from your super heavy camera. <laughs> no, it's so heavy and big. Next, you have to give it a little bit of a shake. Let's see if it's ready. If the fork goes through it easily, it's ready. Yeah, it went straight through it. Right here, we have some blackened Yellow fin. Fin? Yellow fin? Yellow tail. Yellow tail. Ah, I knew it. Uh, yellow fin is for the tuna. Yellow tail right here. Uh, not so yellow anymore. Looking a little bit uh, blackened. And this is very nice. A quick, easy, delicious preparation. Tons of blackened spices. And then a little bit of oil. And then a lot. Oh, fish. Oh, wow. Hi. You want to get a close-up of that? <laughs> that looks great. You ready for this? I'm ready for it. Here we go. Mm. Oh. It's quite delicious. Good blackened seasoning, very bold flavors. It's a very flaky fish, something I didn't expect. Did you know this already? Did you know it was flaky? Yeah, it's a flaky, melt in your mouth, butter kind of fish. Mm-hmm, cause um, it's not super fatty. Oh, no, yeah, it's hard to say. Oh, hold on. The buttery flavor might be coming from the butter. Oh, oh. What? I didn't use any butter. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely not. No, it's delicious. I like it, cause the preparation, everything is quick and dirty. And people, the part people hate about fishing is cleaning the fish and the guts and all the dirty work, the scaling and, and cutting it all out. This guy, he did it the quick way, quick and dirty. Emphasis on the quick, so he got the fillets off there and then he just quickly seasoned it, melted some butter, threw it on, and the result yeah. is, is quite delicious. I gotta say, I'm very impressed. Heiko, I think it's delicious. I think you should try it. Do you usually try it in the video? I do. For people to see? All right, I think you try it, I film you, and then you see what you think of your own cooking, huh? All right. Well, I maybe caught this. Yeah, you caught that. I picked the snapper that you caught for you to eat. You tagged it? I tagged it and I bagged him. <laughs> do you usually drink this much when you're shooting? <laughs> no, I usually drink more. <laughs> We're currently out of extra fork, so I'm gonna use my hand. You're out of, <laughs> You have a fork? They're all in the dishwasher. We run a tight ship around here, okay? Yeah, no, that makes sense. All right, try it with your hands. Wow, look at the flake. You see that flakiness? No, I don't. Hold on, give me a second. I do not. Buttery, flaky. No, think of a third word. You have to do a third word. Crispy. Mmm. The blackening, crisp, 
really nice on it. You're right, there's some bold flavors in there. Yes. Wow, look at these chunks of meat. That's what we need, nice. Close up for the, oh yes. Down the hatch. If I keep holding this, I'm gonna end up eating them all, so. We should probably cut this video short so everyone else in the room, you know, we got people back there that wanna eat some fish too, and I'm here stuffing my face. All right guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, did you enjoy? I had a great time. Come closer. A little bit of a handshake. Boom, we did it. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you had a good time. I did. I'm gonna close it out for a Heiko. Do you have some kind of a saying or thing you do at the end of the video? I always just say, cheers. And then it fades to blackness. Good, that's fantastic. So something to work on for the future. So uh, cheers and a peace. Cheers.